Hey guys and welcome to another AO DVA tutorial. In this story we're going to talk about S3 CMD and how we can manage our permissions on top of our S3 bucket in bulk. So from time to time you want to share a bunch of files that are mixed with other files. So let's see how we normally do it. So we have a, an S3 bucket here, as you can see, I'm already logged into my AWS account. And let's take, for example, this bucket. And uh, let's wait for it to load. Let's say I want to take an object and give access to, let's say, make it public, for example. All right. Logging, get into one of these folders and let's pick up an object. So let's pick up whatever object, you know, it, it doesn't matter, it's random. So we're going to take this particular object and go to properties. And in properties, we want to see the permission who has permissions to what. And let's add another permission and we're going to call it everyone. Pretty much this will allow everyone, which is a public permission, to download or open the file. So we're going to save it. All right, so right now this is saved. I'm going to refresh and then um, check the details on it. Let's check the details and permission and we can see that it persisted for everybody. All right. Now, how would you do that at the bucket level? How would you do it for all of them? Let's say, for example, this is just a, <clears throat> this is just an example of a, of a bucket content where you have millions and millions of files and how can you manage it? So for that, we got S3 CMD, which is a pretty special tool and I use it daily for my. So this is pretty much how you're gonna install S3 CMD on a Red Hat, CentOS, and obviously you're gonna find for Ubuntu and other Linux uh, versions. I'm gonna paste the link in this description and it's pretty easy to set up. It's just a matter of um, having the keys and access to your AWS bucket in hand. So let's go ahead and see how we can. I already have it installed on my machine. So let's go ahead and see how we can actually work with S3 CMD to change permissions in bulk. So first, as you can see here, the Yum repository, and I'm gonna walk you through how you can uh, actually download and install that particular tool and we already have the S3 tools repo in so now if we do a yum search S3 CMD you can see that it's pretty much showing it's popping up straight up and using yum installer you just do a yum install CMD going to download the packages just agree with the certificates and that's it we have our S3 CMD already installed next thing what you want to do we need to configure this S3 CMD ABI so using the option configure this will pop you up with a, with a questionnaire where you have to provide him with the access key so the access key and the secret key. All right, so don't bother to use those access keys and secret key because it's already, and also give it an encryption password. Use the same default, default, and um, provide it with the yes. And safe settings. All right, so now, we are good to go and uh, it shows us that uh, everything worked fine great now let's start using s3 cmd you 
jump into our home directory and we can see that there is a configuration file called s3 cfg which pretty much holds all our configuration about the s3 cmd api you can actually manage it by um, editing that file manually all right so let's go ahead and start using the s3 cmd so it's pretty much like a Linux operational system commands where you can type LAS and says list and it will start listing the buckets as you can see here we can see them at the command line and if we want to list a specific bucket you can say S3CMD LS and the bucket name and it'll give you whatever it's in that bucket All right, another command would be to actually change the properties of a file that is holding to an F3 CMD. So you can see that this one it's open to public, which in it's in for everybody. Now we're gonna go to the command line and we're gonna make changes from the command line where we says we're gonna set the ACL to private. What that means, it's only the owner of the bucket will actually have access to it. Once that is done, we go back to our we go back to our bucket GUI and we're gonna refresh it and go back to permissions and we can see that I'm the owner and I'm the only one having access to it. So now let's go back to the command line and change that back to public how do we do that the command it's the same set ACL and ACL public so ACL public ACL private pointing to the exact path of the object we want to change it to <coughs> so as you can see that file the ACL was set to public so this is an easy way to actually use it now if we're gonna look back into it and permissions and we can see that everyone has access to it we can use these commands to programmatically give access and remove access from a particular user or for everyone or for a sp special account depends on it. now if we use the option recursive on top of that bucket or on top of a bucket all the objects that are contained in that bucket will be set to private in our case we have only a single object but this is for the demonstration purposes he won't care what files are there he will just change the ACL rule on top of every single file that is contained in that bucket so you can see he already he already changed it so now if we make it public using the same recursive option it will change it will add public or everyone as uh, AWS so let's select it permission and we can see that everyone was added in the ACL definition great now we're gonna run once again just certify this is getting boring <laughs> so uh, we can see now that it stayed to it's granted only to the owner great so if you want to follow up how to install this is how you can install it's a free tool and um, it's easy to use comes with a bunch of options it's really helpful for system admins and um, not only for system admins for everybody who wants to leverage Amazon S3 chip storage bucket so you can see here by using the help option you get a bunch of options that can be used uh, performance wise is great it can uh, it pretty much competes with S3 API or with a uh, pure AWS EC2 S3 command so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you in the next tutorial